Hey gang, Jack Allaire here. Uh, we are playing XCOM 2 uh, this morning. And I've been playing XCOM 1 again. and Or the XCOM, whatever. XCOM. Enemy Within. And always loved that game. And wanted more of it. Always wanted more of it. Also, always wanted a D and D version of it, which sadly hasn't happened. Uh, there is a D and D tactics game for the PSP, but it's not. It's not XCOM, and I want it to be XCOM. I want XCOM with swords and magic and robes and whatnot. And apparently, with the mods, that might actually be possible. But that's not what's happened today. What's happened is is that I have uh, gone through, oh, what is the name of it? XCOMBarracks.com. And they, so they have custom characters. You can create custom characters in this game and they go into your character pool. So for instance, uh, this character that you're seeing hide behind a tree right here this is Dizzy from Starship Troopers. Uh, based, or basically just sat with one screen looking at the character and editing it on the other. Uh, the the gun is based is a uh, homage to her. Field ball uniform. I love that it's called field ball. Um, but so let's go ahead hop in here. So, there are going to be spoilers for this story. There's nothing I can do about that, because I'm in the beginning. Uh, I have played this before. Campaign 50. But I played it on a free weekend or something. Because I played it downstairs. So I played it on the PlayStation 4. I can't remember if I used to hate these intro sequences. Sorry, my dog just wandered up here. Uh, this shirt, this lovely shirt, is uh, courtesy of one of my friends, Alexis. Hi, Alexis, if you're watching this, which I doubt, doubt you are. I really hope the mic didn't pick that one up. So here we are. We are in my base. I just went and got a thing. Uh, so, backstory. Commander, who is me, uh, was commander during XCOM. The aliens won. The Earth went to crap, kind of, and we are now a subjugated race. Uh... And they took me. So apparently during the base incursion in one, canonically they got a hold of the commander. And control had to come and get us. Central, sorry. And Central is now, I don't think we can, no, we can't. Okay. Central now looks awesome. He looked like a very, um, I believe the term milk toast applies. Um, he was very white guy, clean cut, wearing a sweater the whole time. And now he looks awesome. Let's go to engineering. <clears throat> Reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from your old engine. It should fix that stabilization problem you had. Rover. On, Rover. It'll work. Commander. Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer, at your service. You were probably expecting to see my father. 
in all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show Shen you was your success. engineer in the previous game. He used to talk about you a lot. And it's you been 20 years. I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it. But in here, I can fabricate <clears> anything <throat> you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. I can't promise any miracles, Commander, but I should be able to put some of the stuff together in no time at all. I'd suggest we get started with the med kit. It'll probably come in handy sooner rather than later. Oh, I forgot I'm still in tutorial. I'm not allowed to I'm not allowed to click on things. I'm on it, Commander. Looks like Tygen has made progress on his research. We should meet him in the lab. <clears throat> and that used to be in the back of my skull. Much of my own research based upon this simple design. If only I had known. Ah, Commander, excellent timing. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip implanted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary connection severed, much of that data is lost. Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. Tactical combat simulations. War games. The sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It... It is truly remarkable that you survived as long as you did. Though this may seem disconcerting that Using the human brain as a computer was always kind of a thing. This chip bears a striking resemblance to a medical implant I briefly assisted in developing at the Gene Therapy Clinic in New Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking Advent officers only, captains or above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. New objective shoot, shoot a captain. Rip out his skull. Got it. The Advent officers have clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new there. orders psionically. The implanted chip is the key. Okay. <laughs> I need one scientist. I do find that area of research to be among the more intriguing options available. We'll begin work immediately. I'll send huh? word when a complete report is available. Looks like Shen got that converter up and running, Commander. We're ready for you on the bridge. See, there's Commander, Central. Commander, to the bridge. Commander, to the bridge. Just stay clear of the perimeter. Understood? Commander, good. I think we got something here. Despite all of Advent's efforts, there are still people who refuse to believe their lies, and it's time we let them know they're not alone. We've already located a target for our first operation. Sir, given our current location, there's actually no way the Sky Ranger could reach that position. Who said anything about the Sky Ranger? Shen, status report. Are we ready? Short answer? Yes. But you might all want to hold on to something.
Nice. Nice. Setting course for the West Asian Corridor. We're ready to start making moves, Commander. By hitting Advent wherever we find them, we can help strengthen the resistance. In return, they'll contribute material and personnel to support our operations. I can't read that either. So if you can't read that on stream, I can barely read that. Well, I can read that. Whatever. Operation Sweeping Sleeping Moan. Commander, it looks like Shen prepped a med kit for us. We should equip one of our soldiers with it before they deploy. Okay, so you're my sniper. You're probably not going to need it. Okay, yeah, so here's uh, Isabel Flores, otherwise known as Dizzy. This is uh, Kelly. She survived the first mission because she's awesome. Uh, Jayaraman and Sissoko are uh, these are plot person and then random person thrown in because when I made the list I didn't want to put I didn't want my squad to be full of the the cool people I wanted them to be kind of half and half Sky Ranger deployed I don't the like the ready to deploy on your order commander Let's begin the mission. See who we can get killed. Dr. Tigan has picked up a signal from a hidden alien communications relay sending data to the Advent network from this area. Anything we can do to disrupt the aliens' logistics increases our chances of stopping their progress. We'll need to secure the area and eliminate any hostiles. Then destroy the relay before they finish their transmission. You got it, buddy. I really miss the doctor lady. I'm sad that she's not here. I love that. That is a cool touch. I know it doesn't mean much to anybody, but red light doesn't trap... whatever. Metis 1-5, the communications relay is up ahead. Move in Oof. and destroy the target. Positions concealed. Okay, so because you are now... I hesitate to use the word insurgents, but that's kind of what we really are. So, you start out concealed in that nobody knows that you're there. So it's kind of cool. You can spend a little bit of time looking around. And kind of figuring out where everybody is. So hopefully, once once the the fit hits the shan, you can actually see like these. If I go near that person, they're gonna freak out and tell everybody that we're here. So we don't want to go near them. We want to kind of slide over here. Rolling out. She is my sniper lady. Okay. We don't want to attack those guys yet. But at least we know they're there. And there's still the red barrier to let you know.
Solid copy. Oh, and don't put anyone on Overwatch. They will, they will shoot the crap out of people. Care about the trooper. Kelly, right? Yeah, Jane Kelly. Okay. Need to hang out right there. Moving on target. There we go. All right, so we're gonna open this up with a grenade launcher, because of course we are. We have a grenade launcher. Let's, let's leave that alone for now. So this is the coolest thing that it gives us, and I absolutely love it, is that you've got this. Enemy eliminated. Promotion earned. Okay. Don't need to kill anybody with her anymore. Understood. Moving out. So we're gonna come up here. We're gonna try and hack this. Infiltrating access point. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so here are the percentages. That's not good. Don't get anywhere. Okay. On Overwatch. Where are we trying to get to? Way over there. On 
my way. Scanning. Will do. So this is kind of how I normally roll, is that I'll do, uh, what is it? <sighs> In the army, we called it bounding overwatch. Which is a good name for it in this game as well, which is basically that your your last person is your first person. So you dash with the person in the back. And then everybody else kinda goes up Position like this. Advent troops spotted. So when that happens, you're not surprised at all. Okay, so we'll leave. She can't shoot anything. She can see him, 9%, no. Heading out. Twenty four percent, still no. Moving to Overwatch. Overwatch. You got a twenty one percent. And you're not gonna Order be able to see anybody. Come get some. Moving. Okay. And normally I would move her all the way up, but 7%. I'm on it. Oh, I didn't equip anybody with anything. I'm an idiot. A six to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have to. Hmm. I don't want to be. I don't want to be that close to him. Sixty-eight percent once again. Zip zip zip. We might roll back. At least he shot at the right person. Taking fire <clears throat> over here. We've got the objective in sight. Yep. The alien transmission is still active and we're running out of time. Get to the relay and take it out. ASAP. Fifteen. Oof. What's my percentage chance? I forgot she's got a shotgun. Away. 
anything. I should clear up line of sight. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. Okay. Nice. Way to go, Dizzy. Hostile neutralized. Dizzy did not earn a promotion. on target position now. Advent forces on the ground. <laughs> this just went from... He might die here. Running dry. Menace one five. We've confirmed destruction of the relay. The alien transmission is down. Eliminate any remaining hostiles and move to evac. Yeah, easier said than done. Moving to designated position. Why is your aim so terrible? He's not in... Okay. How is he in cover? I mean, I guess if we're going to take a shot. I missed, but... Enemy is still up! On the move. It's still moving. Ah. Negative. Weapons dry. That's affirmative. Seems a bit much, but you know, whatever. It's down. Training ammo fast. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. 
Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. <sighs> One wounded. Okay, that's not bad. It's better than I normally do. Operation Sleeping Moan was a success. Success. Yeah. That's terrifying. Average damage per attack, four. See, this would work perfect for D&D, because &D, how much damage does a first level character do? Enough to kill any other first level character. You can be taken out by a straight arrow. If you go by second edition rules, wizards have like one to four hit points. Modern rules they gave him a little bit more. Excellent work, Commander. Your efforts in the field have certainly encouraged the crew. I like that they, they limp. Okay, so Dizzy got promoted. Allows Overwatch to trigger with Squad Sight or Return Fire. This is just free damage, so I'll go with that. Okay, Ranger, Phantom, when the squad is revealed, this soldier remains concealed. Blade Master. Alright, medical protocol. The gremlin can perform healing actions remotely. Gremlin heal and gremlin stabilize. Gremlin has a single charge. If the medkit is equipped, the gremlin will gain an additional charge. Okay. Combat protocol. Send the gremlin to an enemy to jolt them, dealing guaranteed damage, which is increased against robotic enemies. Remember right, I never liked combat protocol, but we're gonna we're gonna keep you going. You're gonna we're gonna pretty much go the battle medic route with him because we need a medic. Now that we've got some help, we can start clearing out the old equipment and debris from the ship to make room for new facilities. Oh, yeah, so if you remember the, the old, what was it, a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 by 4 grid or something, uh, this is now just a 3 by 4, so you only got 12 to work with. To clear out these rooms, first we'll need to assign an engineer to the task. Once we start getting into the far reaches of the ship, it's going to take more time and manpower to make space for new facilities. Looks good to me. Just give the word and we'll get started, Commander. Excavation is underway, Commander, but it's going to take some time to get all that stuff cleared out. Commander, we have a secure transmission coming through. Source unknown. Patching it through to your quarters. Oh yeah. I have quarters now. Hello, Commander. The Council Love this guy. Is new is no more. Its membership have all sworn loyalty to the Advent Administration. With one exception. It is good to see you again. Nice. In the day since your capture, I have done all I can to aid the resistance from the inside. It was these resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. As of now, 
Resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this before it is too late. What you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians from across the world. Their numbers are growing. That's us. We suspect they have been taken to a nearby Advent black site, though its exact location remains unknown. Time is short, Commander. We need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold. Find this black site and shut it down. down. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Commander. So the weird thing, the thing that weirds me out about this game Looks is like that... better get started, Commander. I'll be on the bridge when you're ready. See, he says it normally, but in the cutscenes they say, Good luck, Commander. Which sounds weird and off. But it would be, oh, good luck, Commander. All one sentence. But it seems like they were going to be able to call you different things? Maybe? I don't know. Commander, our current position is here. Just outside Resistance Headquarters. Mm -hmm. When we're not on the move, this will serve as our home and our source of supplies. The Councilman has tracked the alien black site to this region. Unfortunately, we don't have its exact coordinates yet. If we're going to have any chance of finding this facility, we'll need to make contact with the local resistance cell nearby. Kaigen has a theory about how we might reach out to them without getting the alien's attention, but we'll need to give him time to conduct his research. We shouldn't wait too long on that, Commander. We have to start making contact with other regions soon if we're going to build a global resistance and take on Advent. New objective added. Looks like you won't have time for that just yet, though. Remote reconnaissance may have found something not far from our current position. Avenger plotting new course. Commander, while we're waiting for new missions or the completion of our research, we can pass time by scanning at sites like this one. On your order, we'll start our scans of the surrounding area. I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. Okay. Magnetic weapons. Nuclear systems for our own use. Any weapon upgrades now found in the field can be attached directly. Cool. Okay. So we need the resistance communication. Oof. Okay. So the advent officers this. appear to be similar, if not physically the same as the common advent trooper in terms of power and agility. However, field reports indicate a more developed mental acuity, as the officers do provide tactical directives to the subordinate advent forces. Apparently my predecessor was something of a brute when it came to handling the interrogation and autopsy of alien subjects. From what I've heard, she was keen to get her hands dirty whenever possible. New orders, Commander? Leave it alone for now. Do you ever regret leaving the city? You must miss some of it. The food? The warm beds? Honestly, none of that really bothers me. What I miss the most is my equipment. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. 
Advent probably had a pretty nice lab set up for you. There was certainly no shortage of resources on their side. Don't worry. I'm sure the commander will find something nice for you. Commander? Uh, Shepard. Xander. Jared. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Faith. Okay. No, we'll leave that alone for now. Build spark, whatever. Okay. So. Okay. Few room. Okay. And. Here's where I'm going to wait, because I have no clue what to build. So, uh, But I'm going to go ahead and stop the stream now. It's uh, been 45 minutes. But I'll uh, pop back in. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and as always, play on!